Welcome to the Men of Integrity, Men That Rescue Men and Women. And what a joy it is to have you to tune in with us again tonight for a life-changing experience in the Word of God. We have with our co-host tonight, Apostle J. Edward Fisher from St. Center Copper School and the Apostle Bishop G. L. Grace from New Zion Balanced Believers Ministries right here in Colleen, Texas. And I want to say that if you have not attended one of these services, you've missed a great event in your life. God is really doing some powerful things. And this year, if you are able to break through, get out of the house and get to a house of worship, your blessings and your miracles are gonna come faster, stronger, and greater. I wanna thank those of you that have been sowing the seed into the KPLE ministry. And I hope that if you have not sown that seed, that this would be the day, this would be the night that God would move on your heart and you would write that check for $25, $50, $100, some maybe even $1,000, $5,000, whatever God puts on your heart to keep the ministry moving forward for those that are less fortunate than you and I, that they may have an opportunity to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. You may say, who are those people that can't get out? Those that are in nursing homes, those that are in hospitals, those that are incarcerated. And I'm getting letters, I'm getting calls from people that are saying that, hey, it's a right now word for right now time mm -hmm. and I'm being blessed. Well, if that's you, then I ask you to sow that seed of faith. God's gonna bless you for the Bible says that give and it shall be given unto you a good measure pressed down, shaken together, and running over shall men give into your bosom. How is God going to do that? With the same measure that mm -hmm. you meet, it shall be measured to you again. Mm -hmm. So we're ready now to bless you in the Word of God. We're going to be talking about an acronym that is called PUSH. Amen. We want you to push into your destiny. We want you to push into the place that God would have you. So the scripture lesson tonight comes from 1 Corinthians 15 and 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain. Call somebody out of the room and let's get ready to push. The first uh, letter, brethren, that we're going to talk about is the letter P. Okay? And that word comes to mind would be purpose. Everyone who was called by the name and whom I have created for my glory, whom I have formed, even whom I have made, Isaiah 43 and 7. It says, according to the Bible, our purpose, the reason we are here is to give God glory. That's right. In other words, our purpose is to praise God, worship Him, to proclaim His greatness and to accomplish His will. This is what glorifies Him. So when we talk about purpose, how does a man or woman find their purpose in God and get locked in so that they can do the will of God? Talk to me about purpose. Which one of you brothers want to jump out at it? Well, I'll, uh, I'll start first, Bishop. Uh, I think uh, one of the first things that a believer, a person have to do is submit to the fact that Paul said in Colossians that we was made by him for him. All things were created by him and for him. And I think that's where we get started. If we're going to call him our creator, then we are the creation. Mm -hmm. And so then we have to submit to that. If I argue with that in my mind, then I'm still unsettled. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, well, you know, we, we are bought with a price. Yes. And we are bought to bring glory to God, to be an ambassador of Christ. And so we have to go in and find out what that means. And as you said earlier, for his praise and for his glory. Yeah. Let's look at this. It says that we are created by him according to his desire mm -hmm. and our lives ought to be lived for him so that we may accomplish what he has for us to do. He gives us a reason for existence. He gives mm -hmm. us the meaning of life. Mm -hmm. So when we stop and we begin to evaluate 
who we are and what is our purpose for being born, then we have to begin to lock in mm -hmm. on this situation because I believe that to get the blessings of God, the miracles of God in your life, you have to definitely be aligned with the purpose of God. What, what do you think about that? Well, I think, uh, Bishop, you're right on point. Um, the purpose of a thing or a purpose of a person, I believe this, that is in the mind of the Creator. Therefore, we have to seek the mind of God in order to find out what is his intent for creating us, you know, creating man. And I believe every individual have a purpose. There's no such thing as a mistake. Uh, no child that is born birth into the earth is with, without purpose. So we have to submit to the will of God in order to find the mind of God. That is where the purpose of a thing is. Amen. I, I, I believe that. Yeah. I, I look and I, I, I wonder sometimes, why am I still here? Mm. When I look at people that have done some of the things that I've done, Okay, uh, done some things that probably was not so bad as some of the things that I've done, but yet I'm still here. The mm -hmm. grace of God, the mercy of God that has yeah. abounded in my life, okay, keeps telling me in volumes that there is a purpose mm -hmm. aligned with God for the purpose of God. Let me throw this at you. It says, when we trust the one who has made us, mm -hmm. who works all things after the counsel mm -hmm. of his will, mm -hmm. Ephesians 1 11, then we are able to live a life of purpose, okay? Mm -hmm. How the particulars of that purpose are expressed is up to the individual. Talk to me about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you know, um, we got to understand what the will of God is. It says, be not ignorant of that. And um, God says in many ways, he says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. We're trying to find this will of God uh, so we can fulfill our destiny. And our mm -hmm. destiny is in him. And then we must trust him. You said it up front. We must trust the, the goodness of God. We got, must trust the wisdom of God. Uh, we must trust God for our lives. And so, in that, it can, we can easily find our purpose if we can put those elements together and trust God and know that our times are in the hands of the Lord. Okay. Let me put some weight on you, uh, mm -hmm. Bishop. Okay, I've, I've gotten a job now. I've gotten the education. Okay. I've gotten the children. Now what? I, w I would say this. The first thing, all of that is still whatever God blesses me with, whether it's children, jobs, whatever, I have to come back again, as Apostle said, and submit it right into his hands again mm -hmm. because I believe everything starts with the Creator. Yes. Everything that comes through you and I is the Creator. It's to bring glory to God. I believe we have to make everything that God blesses us with bless him. Yes, everything, that's good. Everything that he, that's why whether it's giving, it's again, God is a giver. Mm -hmm. So we have to be just like him. Every, that DNA of God is inside of us, and we got to be just like him. So if he blesses us with a family, he blesses us with children, the first thing we need to do is to submit them towards God. The Bible said, train up a child in the way to go. So then I'm going right back to God. He is our creator. He is our father. He is our pattern. He is our example. So we have to bring everything back to him, embracing his mindset so we know what our purpose is in here. Mm -hmm. Good. Let's throw two things out here. Number one, I'm blessed and highly favored of the Lord. I've got all of my prayers answered, okay? Now what? Or it seems like I just can't get it together, yeah. okay? I'm pulling here, I'm pulling there, robbing Peter to pay Paul, okay? It seems like my family's falling apart, okay? okay? It seems like I can't get this education completed. Now what? Well, I think we need to look at uh, our situation and... Um, understand the promises of God. If it's not working in our lives, like that word says, maybe, and more likely, we're not following that word like mm. we think we are. Yeah. You know, it says that uh, 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 there's a way that seem it right mm -hmm. unto a man, but yeah. the end there are, are the ways of death. And you got mm -hmm. a lot of people out there saying, well, I think I'm an all right person. Mm -hmm. Well, it, what you think makes no difference. Is what he says. And so we got to go back in there and make sure that we line ourselves, I guess position ourselves with yeah. God for to see the blessings of God and the things that God has promised us. So I want to say to you, and I know Bishop read to say something there, but mm -hmm. I want to say to you is that lift up your head tonight yeah. and yeah. realize that you do have 
a purpose. Mm -hmm. It may not be all coming together like your neighbor. It looks like your neighbor got it all together. But God has a purpose for you, and we're going to help you to discover how to get through the purpose of God. Yeah. What do you want to share? Uh, Bishop, I, I think also one of the things in my own life, and I'll just be personal, is that I wasted a lot of time and a lot of money because I did no purpose. Yes. And I think when you don't know purpose, the purpose of a thing, you will abuse it. Yes. You will abuse time, you will abuse money, you will abuse substance, whatever it is. You, it, when you don't know the purpose, it's everything, whether it's alcohol, there's a medical purpose for it. Uh, whether that's drugs, there's a medical purpose. When mm -hmm. I don't know purpose, I will abuse it. Yes. And same thing with time and money. When I don't know the purpose of it, I'm going to abuse it. So mm -hmm. just like you said, when we seem like you was asking a question earlier, if we seem like we just can't get it together, it's probably because we haven't totally submitted to the purpose and the plan of God. So I keep abusing everything that comes my way, even in relationships, mm -hmm. abuse, because I don't know the purpose. I don't know the purpose of a wife. I don't know the purpose of a child. So I got child, spouse abuse, you know, because yes. I don't know purpose and I haven't slowed down to find purpose. Mm -hmm. I want to throw something in there because as you were saying that something came to my mind and it, it is uh, Jeremiah 23 and 4 when he says that I will give you shepherds that shall feed the flock of God mm -hmm. and you shall fear no more, neither shall you be dismayed or discouraged. Okay? Mm -hmm. The world that we're living in now seems to be extracting people from church giving people a reason not yeah. to go to church, mm -hmm. uh, causing people to find independency, okay, and not needing pastoral ship, mm -hmm. uh, streaming, which is fine, but people are replacing the attendance yeah. of worship with maybe streaming. Something that I don't believe that the Bible empowers us because I believe that the Bible says forsake and not the assembling of yourself together. Now, mm -hmm. I love all these electronic things and I think that they're wonderful, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, but I think there's a purpose for them. Yes. Yeah. But if you can press into the house, it's just something about pressing to the house of God. And yeah. this is what I want our audience to understand tonight that you really have to submit to the man of God. How can you hear without a preacher? And how can he yeah. preach except he be sent? If you're really trying to find the purpose and the direction that God would have you to be. Let's move into that next word real quickly here, and it is called position. Mm -hmm. okay? You have to be in the right position. Ephesians 2 and 6 says, and has raised us up together mm -hmm. and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ, Christ Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Now, what does that mean? Because I'm still on earth. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm still got my feet on earthly soil. So what does that mean to sit in heavenly places with Christ Jesus while I'm yet here on earth? Because I believe positioning has a lot to do with me oh, yeah. moving in and, and to my destiny or mm -hmm. my purpose. Mm -hmm. I would say, first of all, uh, Bishop, uh, spiritual dimension is the first thing that he's going to deal with us on, even though we're still here on earth. If I get in the right position because it gives me a different perspective, how I see things. Most people walk in the wrong attitude because their perception is off. Mm -hmm. Their perception comes from their position. Yes. You know, if I have an attitude with you, it's because of my perception. And But if I change my position or how I see you, I'm going to change my whole attitude towards you. So the same thing with God. So if I come back and submit to his word, he's going to bring me to that kingdom dimension. He's going to bring me to that rightful place mm -hmm. and learn how to operate as a son in the earth. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Well, you know, um, the Bible says the path of the Lord is truth and mercy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we're on the wrong path or yeah. the wrong road. Yeah. The road uh, the, uh, the road that leads to destruction is, is broad, but they have a lot of people there. And sometimes we think that if the majority of the people are there, uh, it must be the right way, but not so in God's economy. God mm -hmm. comes back and say, there's a road that's narrow. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we've got to be in the right path of the Lord to experience the truth and mercy of the Lord so we can be out of position and be on the wrong road. Yeah. yeah, when you think about that, even with sports, if you if you got a, a basketball guy and, mm -hmm. and he's out of position, right. somebody going to get burned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You in football, if you got yeah. a de defensive back out of position, yeah. you about to give up a big run. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the part that I love. Yeah. He says in Ephesians 1, mm -hmm. 3 through 6, Paul writes, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed. 
Mm -hmm. past tense, mm -hmm. who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. Yeah. Man, if you're not in position, That's right. okay, then yeah. it's hard to fulfill purpose if you yeah. have not received spiritual blessing. Yes, would, right. would you agree that you got to have the oh. blessing to fulfill the purpose? Oh, yes. Talk to me, somebody. I'm about I, to get happy I, with you. <laughs> I agree hard. I'm excited as well, Bishop, because if I'm not in alignment with God, I don't see the way he sees me, which means I don't see myself blessed. I don't see myself coming out. I don't see it because I'm not in agreement with him and I'm, mm -hmm. not, I'm not allowing him to work in me both to will and to do as it said in Philippians yeah. so again when we're out of alignment it's always going to be a struggle because I'm not in a, agreement with him mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm excited I, this is powerful yeah, yeah. it is it's, and um, you know uh, we have to it says how can two walk together except, except they be agreed, be agreed. Mm -hmm. sometimes we walking but we're not walking with God mm -hmm. yes. you know we're walking right. with something that looks like God uh, but it's not God. Yeah, and so yeah. that takes us back to the Word of God that's going to help us to line up and be in position. We got to have the, the, like you say, in the football, the guy got to follow the, 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 the playbook, right? Yeah, if yeah. he's not following that playbook, he's out of position and yes. something's going to go wrong. Yeah. Yes. Now, that, uh, you brought that in. And let's look at this. Let's mm -hmm. look at this text here. He says, now, Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. who has mm -hmm. yeah. blessed, past tense, mm -hmm. us in, in Christ. Christ. So if you're not in Christ, you're already out of position. Out of position. Okay. And he says when you're in Christ, he's blessed you with every. Mm -hmm. That means that he has not missed or left nothing out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. With every spiritual blessings. Here's another. In the heavenly places. You've mm -hmm. got to be in the heavenly places. Like Bishop, you said earlier, this mentality has oh, to yeah. be of a spiritual mentality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now watch this here. Even as he has chose us, where? In him. In him. Right. Now, the only way you're going to be in him, you got to be born again. That's right. Exactly. Okay? By the one spirit are we all baptized yes. into the one body. Amen. So a lot of people are out of position yeah. as it relates to the spiritual rebirth. Yeah. So I go to church and I got religiosity and, and I believe. But the question is, have mm. you received the Holy Ghost yes, since you believe? believe. Mm -hmm. yeah. And have you now moved into a spiritual position with yeah. God? Y'all better say something. I'm about to talk all night. <laughs> well, you know, uh, I, like, I like what you said. Paul comes by and he finds these certain disciples. Yeah, mm -hmm. Acts 19. And uh, he says, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? Mm. Well, come to find out as you read the text, they were out of position. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And Paul had to align them in yeah. order to be able to be a recipient of the blessing that had already already been given. Yeah. Already, been already given. came oh, on the day yeah. of the yeah. now, now, they were all believers. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Because he says, since you mm -hmm. believe. Mm -hmm. I want to say to you tonight, right, before Bishop get ready to say what he wants to say, is the very fact that you could be a believer and mm -hmm. out of position, mm -hmm. position and have not received all the spiritual blessings that God wants you to have, mm -hmm. which is now causing you not to be able to see purpose. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. And so, Bishop, to add what Apostle said, if, just like those disciples, disciples that was fine. And the yeah. disciple, the word disciple really means student, pu a pupil. And so in order for me to submit to uh, further knowledge and understand and not walk in assumption, because that's mm -hmm. what a believer would do too, mm -hmm. assume that this is all God have for me. Go to church. I go to church every Sunday, but they don't pick up the Berean spirit to dig deeper, yeah. to mm -hmm. ask for more. The yeah. Holy Ghost is given to them that ask. Yeah. And, and he said, he that cometh unto me, I will in no wise turn back. Yeah. So again, if I pursue him, I'm going I'm to get the fullness of him. Yes. If I ask after him, hunger after him, he's going to satisfy me. Yes. What I don't pursue, I'm not authorized to have. Exactly. You know? Exactly. You have got mm. to get into pursuit. The Bible says, seek and yeah. ye shall find. Mm -hmm. yeah. Knock and the door shall yeah. be opened. Ask and it shall be given unto you. Mm. So to order to get, now let's go back to this real quick. Yeah. In order to understand purpose and mm -hmm. to flow in the purpose of God, I must acquire these spiritual blessings, mm -hmm. okay? I got to have some spiritual insight, insight. okay? Yeah. Now, we're not talking about tangible stuff, 
We're not talking about cars, houses, and boats, yeah. and that kind of stuff right there. Mm -hmm. That stuff will come. Mm -hmm. But if I don't understand my purpose, yeah. then I'm not getting all that I'm supposed to have. Yeah. But I cannot get to purpose until I first get the spiritual blessings. Yeah. Okay? And I won't go through all of those things, but you talk about the, the, uh, the 12 uh, spirits of God. Mm -hmm. When he talks about having yeah. the wisdom and the knowledge yeah. and the, the understanding and, and all of these things that prevails a man yeah. into the deeper things mm -hmm. of God. Y'all yeah. better yeah. say something about the preach some more. Well, <laughs> I want to add this, Bishop, because I think it's so, so uh, powerful, but when it comes to the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God, when the, the Spirit of God comes into a believer, uh, he allows a believer to explore the vastness of God. Yes. He's the only one, the comforter, the teacher, mm -hmm. he's the only one that can do that. So again, without him, see, without him, I'm not going to know the fullness of my purpose. Yes. Because really when he comes into the life of a believer, mm. he comes to orchestrate me in the earth what I was designed to do. Yes. And again, that's why again in Galatians says when we receive the spirit of the son, he teaches us how to be sons yes. only by way of the Holy Ghost. Yes. You mm -hmm. know, and so I think as a believer, sometimes we're searching the scriptures, we're searching for things and we're searching for stuff, but the first thing we got to do is Matthew 6, 33. We got to seek first the kingdom, kingdom. of God. What is the kingdom of God? Yeah. Paul said the kingdom is not meat and drink, yeah. mm -hmm. All right. but righteousness, peace, and joy, and the, and the Holy Ghost. Romans 14, 17. So that's, I think that's where we need to get started. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I love that, amen, and, I, and, I, and I'm glad you, you brought that thing out, amen, yeah. like that, because so many times we're just drifting. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, in him we move and have our being. Yeah. Okay? God wants us to be blessed. He wants us to be divinely blessed. Okay? Mm -hmm. and, and it says, in love, he predestined us for adoption as sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will, mm -hmm. to the praise of his glory, grace, which he has blessed us in the beloved. Now, mm -hmm. there was an election in heaven, but the only one that voted was God. And it was by the overwhelming majority of one to nothing that we were elected. Mm -hmm. God chose you. Oh, yeah. And nobody else had anything to do with the yeah. choosing but God. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he chose you for purpose. That's mm -hmm. right. But to get to purpose, you yeah. have to get the spiritual blessings of God through. Yeah. The Holy Spirit. Is that my understanding what you guys are saying today? Yeah. I believe, I believe, mm -hmm. I'm going to let Apostle jump in, but mm -hmm. one of the things that there's really struggling, Bishop, is sometimes people have gone through so much in life that the things they've gone through have blocked their vision of receiving God. Because yes. you can mm -hmm. be under the misconception that God has put these things upon you. Yes. And so when I bring the approach of God to you now, you're rejecting it mm -hmm. because of the experiences yes. that you thank God have allowed upon you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So again, that's why I really want the believer tonight or the person that's listening tonight to begin to seek the Word of God, to really embrace the Spirit of God to show them their purpose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. can, can I say something real quick, Pastor? I know you're ready to say something, but, but watch this here. If I don't yield myself to spiritual leadership, mm -hmm. yeah. it's easy for the enemy oh, yeah. to keep me walking in the wilderness for years, mm -hmm. yeah. never understanding or finding yeah. purpose or position. Yeah. That's right. and, and so the, you're right, the past experiences and some things that I may not even experience, but I've heard. Oh, yeah, and yeah. The, the devil always trying to talk down leadership so that you won't yield yourself to leadership that makes you see purpose and positioning. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And we have to break that stronghold in yeah. this day and time and say, you know what? I'm going to follow them as they follow Christ. Mm -hmm. There you go. Well, that's what Paul told Timothy, you know. That's the, that's the way it works. Uh, um, one of the problems we have is obeying leadership. Yeah. And the Bible says, obey them that have the rule over you and submit. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that's a dirty word. That's a big word. Yes, it is. But, you know, um, God knows what he's doing. This is his plan. And we have to follow and submit ourselves to people that God has showed the way so we can continue to follow the way. That's yes. the way it works. Some people are just trying to be an entity of their own. Right. They're not submitted. They're, they're rebellious and they're stubborn. Well, that's not going to work with God. Mm -hmm. God has set this thing up. He set certain men in our lives. 
that are going to mentor us. We definitely need mentoring. And that's what our leaders are going to do. And if you are not mentored, you're on your own. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, I think uh, one of the things I discovered, you know, in pastoring that mm -hmm. and sitting down and counseling, when a young man or young lady have gone through life mm -hmm. and suffered any kind of abuse from an authority figure, whether a father and uncle, so forth. So mm -hmm. now, when it comes to submitting to any type of authority, mm -hmm. now I have a problem. So I will pull back and be my own entity because mm -hmm. why? Because now I play it safe. I'm not going to get yeah. hurt. Because why? Past experience have left that in me. So when you, uh, Bishop, said about breaking strongholds, all it is is a frame of thought that came mm -hmm. from an experience. Mm -hmm. So then that's why we have to really pray and reach out to a person that may have become withdrawn mm -hmm. because of past experience. Okay, I've been abused. I've been hurt. So I don't know how to trust a father figure anymore. So I, I'm on my own now. So that's where we have to really pray. Mm -hmm. I, I, I believe yeah. that and I, and, and I feel that. And I want to say to you tonight, because hey, Bishop brought that up, I want you to pray a quick prayer that that stronghold is broken because mm -hmm. God is trying to get you to your purpose. Yeah. God is trying to position you for a new dimension in Him and blessings and miracles. Bishop, take about 30 seconds and, and pray that prayer that that yeah. yoke is destroyed and mm -hmm. broken right now. Uh, let's pray. Father, I just thank you right now for the person that's viewing and the person that's listening. And only by you and by the blood of Jesus can you reach the core of yes. that pain and that hurt mm. from that abuse. And yes. we pray together okay. in Jesus' name that it be broken and annihilated yes. in the name of Jesus, that it will go no further, that the person that's listening right yes. now will yes. experience refreshing and revival, and they will be able to receive your word to know their purpose. And we count this done yes. in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. I want to say to you tonight that God wants you to push. Yeah. Okay. And we just started talking about pushing, and there's some more coming to this. You yeah. don't have time tonight to finish all of this, but you must discover purpose. Hallelujah. You've got to get under leadership. The first order of a business, the Bible says, is get under the shepherdry of God yeah. mm -hmm. and let the word of God be empowered, okay, implied, and yeah. so all those things into your life. And then you not only need to discover purpose, but you need to get position. Mm -hmm. yeah. You need to get into the heavenly places of God through the power of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. that you might know that I am aligned with God according to his word. Mm -hmm. yeah. The Bible says, search the scripture for in them you Thank think you, you have God. eternal life yeah. but these are they that testify of me so I want to say to you tonight is that you pray tonight yeah. you break the strongholds over your life until you are free enough to yeah. follow leadership mm -hmm. tonight I'm asking you to try this leadership lead sow a seed tonight Hallelujah. write a check I don't care if it's a dollar write a check out and sow it and see if God bless you. This is your first test to see if yeah. the man of God is true in what he says. Yeah. So I'm saying to you, sow a seed, sow okay? A seed. The address is on the screen, okay? Sow a seed of faith to KPLE and yeah. see if God would do a great work in your life. Look to see you very soon. God mm -hmm. bless you and we're praying for your miracle. Amen. Out of your bed, out of your, out of your ship, Lord. Out of your, out of your Oh, yeah, this big water. How do you?